It's a unique hustle. Big, 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 big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big so shit. big, you gotta look big back shit. at it. I like Name another podcast. Big like shit. <laughs> Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss top. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss top. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss top. Yeah, everybody on it. Big boss. It's a unique hustle. Big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official. Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Walk on, wow. walk on. Nah, okay. Y'all know me. I want my Same, man to look man. at me the way he looks at his Same. wife. Check it, hold man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Check Nessie, it, you gonna man. cause an argument when I get Check home. Check it, man. You gonna cause a whole Same, argument man. in my house. I was, I'm saying right now, if I get home and my Best man don't look at me, seen. if my man don't look at me the way you look at your wife, it's a whole problem when I get home. Hey, it's nigga, you better step your game up. Look you know that man. Look at her again. Check it, check it, check it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know when I when it come down to people that's in this city that I feel is a staple of the community. We mm -hmm. just started this podcast, and and to be honest with you, it was a few people we had to have on here before we could really say that we was really doing our thing. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not like every other podcast because we different. We 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 got this family oriented thing going exactly. to where we bring people on who mean something to the who are pillars. Mm. Oh, and I, we mm. felt we felt that when we when we first discovered Vita Loca. Exactly. You know what I'm talking about. All Star Weekend, baby. Oh my I'll God. never forget it. Oh you know God. what I'm saying? It was oh a night God. to remember, man. It's one of the realest people I've ever met. Man, I had about seven or eight people with me. And 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 when they was with me, they was like, man, she come through. Uh, is that the, uh, you, we could hear her if you couldn't see her. Unapologetically. <laughs> that voice, that voice, you cannot hide that voice anywhere. Vito. You know what? That's funny that you say that because I remember uh, a conversation I had with Steve Harvey, right? Okay. And, you know, because remember, Steve Harvey was the morning show right. for 97.9 The Beat way back yeah, then. Yeah, he was. In, in the beginning. That's right. I remember. And he actually did it from the Beat Studios. Okay. Mm -hmm. He moved from L.A. and came out here. And I was on the, I, at this point, I just got on, you know, well, not just got on, but I've been on for a while. But, you know, just one day a week. Right. You know what I'm saying? Here and there. And I got an opportunity to be on his street team mm -hmm. with Nephew Tommy. Nephew Love Tommy nephew wasn't Tommy, even man. in the studio yet. Really? Oh, he wow. wasn't even allowed in the studio. He wasn't even a part of the in-studio show. He was on the streets. Like, so he would go out and be at, like, Krispy Kreme and mm -hmm. do call-ins. Yeah. And I was doing that with Nephew Tommy. Wow. And so one day I get to work and Steve was like, come here. Come here for a second. I'm going to talk to you. I swear to God, I said, "Oh man, this nigga smell weed on me." <laughs> oh no! no. Oh, that nigga smell weed on I'm me. I'm in trouble. Why does Steve Harvey want to talk to me? Oh fuck! What did I do, man? I, you know that I I quickly went to what the fuck did I? Oh, oh I've he been smelled, there. He smelled weed right, on me. Right. That's all I can think. He must smell the weed. <laughs> he caught me. He must smell the weed on did me. Did you look guilty when you walked? Oh, up to him? I look scared. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Harvey is a man of stature and he commands a presence. He, he, right. he seems he is that a way. Commander. Okay. He's a commander. Like when you look at him, you know, he his entourage, he take his entourage everywhere he go. He comes, he's in there fuck I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead, well, go ahead. Fucking four o'clock in the morning, suited a and booted. Real beast. Mm. Even if he got a jogging suit on, he got some fucking hard shoes. A real beast. Some fucking jogging hard. Suit. You, uh, girl. A no. real girl. beast. Wow. Hello. He's a phenomenon. And so when he called me, You're I was like, like oh fuck. What the they fuck called did I me because he's never even made eye contact with me. So why the fuck is he calling me in here? Clearly, <laughs> I've been there. Clearly, he's he, 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 on me. These right. jobs, hell. So what did he say? <laughs> so he said. You have a voice. Right. Oh. He said, and he, your voice is bigger than you. That's mm -hmm. real. That's real. And I didn't understand what he was saying. Oh, that's real. And he said, and it, it is crazy because it took me years to get what he said. Oh, no, I got it. I, he said, it's not what you say. It's how you sound. Yeah, it's the sound. And it's I'm the thinking, tone. and I'm thinking, oh no, nigga, it's what I say because I write down what I'm gonna say, and oh, I put no. a lot of effort into what I'm exactly. gonna say, and I want to be funny, and I'm funny, and I'm oh, and this. I'm writing down my stuff. Don't tell me it's not what I say because I put a lot of work in what I say. And he was like, you don't even need to be here. Wow. He said, you don't need to be. You need to be in L.A. somewhere. Wow. And then he told me to go get two books. He said, go get the magic 
of thinking big and the power of positive thinking. That's good info. Y'all okay. remember them books. And the magic of thinking big mm-hmm. and the power of positive thinking. He said, get these two books. That's love. And then he said, um, in the book, they're going to have you write some stuff down. Don't share it with anybody. And if you want to share it, share it with me. He wow. said, because everybody's not going to understand your vision. Wow. And they may try to keep you away discourage from what discourage you. Mm-hmm. So he said, don't share any of the things that you write down with anybody. That's heavy. So he said, if you want to talk about it, you you know. And then he told me, make the list. Because in the book, that you know, you write shit down. And he said, when you write it down, show it to me, right? Show it to and me. And you did. No, nah, that nigga didn't even look me in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He got game. I know the answer. I know what that is. But you didn't know. That nigga didn't say anything to me. But you bought the books. I bought the books. And you you did the work. And you did the work. That's that's how I I flourished. And see, so it helped. He knew it would help you. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. but he never, looked, about him. he never looked me in my eye again. <laughs> that, nigga, <laughs> that nigga purposely looked out the way when he saw me coming. Like, oh, you know this bitch. Uh, she, she gonna, gonna know about that book. book. <laughs> she gonna talk about that book. The bitch like, I got time, bitch. I set you up to, oh, to, to, to flourish. God. Now go. Now go. go. Go, grasshopper. So, oh. so I used to remember when, when Vita was on at, it was, it was around midday. I be at, at work, Afternoons. you know. Oh, it was it yeah. was going down, and she had it going, and I was like, "Man, this is good." And then they, t- oh, well, she switching to the morning show, and I said, "Damn, you know, I don't know how I'm adjust, you know, especially with Ricky Smiley being moved off hell. I like Ricky Smiley. Why they putting her on it? I ain't gonna lie right. to you. That's what I was That's saying. A lot of people I was like, "What the hell that, going yeah. on?" Then Ricky come with a statement. Oh well, y'all got to embrace her, and y'all. Yeah. I say, okay, that's cool, right. nigga. I hear you, but nigga, you ain't doing a good job talking to Cora and all of right. them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Ricky. <laughs> Do you remember when I was on Ricky Smiley's morning show? I don't show? remember that. Yeah, for a whole year. With, with that was girl, with, it was another were, girl there too. I, went to, I, I I'll never forget. Um, I was doing. Um, I was at nights, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And well, the whole reason I got full time because I was part time. I got pregnant. Okay. And with Dylan and my program director said, "You gonna need health insurance, so I'm gonna find you a full time spot." Thank wow. God, his name is awesome. John Candelaria. That's God got this John thing going on with you, baby. Yeah, That's Candy. all. I love Candy to death. <laughs> and. He, he had his way. He was like, bitch, I don't love you that much. You got my wife high. You got my wife high. I remember one time he called me. He was like, did you get my wife weed? I was, I was like, I just introduced her to the nigga. I don't know what she was going to do. Going in. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so he gave me the full-time job, and he put me on nights, and um, and then there was an opportunity for me to do traffic. So Ricky had, a, you know, Ricky loved a fire motherfucker, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he would do like, like 15 co-hosts. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So... One of the ones they let go, I'm in nights, and, and he lets Euro go. I That's who Euro. I was thinking about, Euro. Euro. Yeah, she got mad Euro about go. that, too. Yeah, he let her, but she's flourishing right now. Yeah. And they and they, and they they have repaired their relationship. They repaired, That's good. Which oh, is good. amazing. Good. So she was doing traffic, and one day Ricky was like, you know what? I don't even want her doing traffic. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. She got to because go. Because they, they weren't, they weren't, they, were clean, they, weren't, they, they weren't able to They jive. were bumping heads at that time. They, they, didn't, they didn't repair their relationship at that time. So they ca- give me a call, and he's like, no, oh, no, 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 Back, 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 back. They asked me to be on Ricky's show as a hip-hop, like, uh, do a hip-hop gossip segment. And okay. not gossip, but, you know, hip-hop entertainment, right? I'm, I'm with it. They asked me to be on the show. Euro was still doing traffic. Okay. So they they asked me to be on the Ricky Smiley in the morning doing hip-hop entertainment, mm-hmm, okay? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm happy. I'm like, this is the best shit ever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get there. Excuse me. I get there and then I'm not there three days and he let Euro go. Wow. From doing traffic. Mm hmm. So then they say, Yo, Vita, you gonna do traffic. Mm. Damn. That's a promotion. No. No, 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 no. That's no, a no. demotion. That was to me. Because see, I was your like, voice, you I gotta know, get out I, here. I said, uh, this is the words again. I said, I ain't no motherfucker Alicia Speeds. Mm. I am <laughs> not the traffic lady. <laughs> I am Damn not girl, the crazy. traffic lady. Oh and I cried God. tears. I cried tears out of my she eyes. She said, I ain't no damn Alicia Speed. I ain't no motherfucking Alicia Speed. And what did he say? Alicia oh on every platform with that bull. What's going on air with the traffic? One. Air, air one. one. <laughs> I ain't no motherfucking air one. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I don't want it. Girl, you crazy? I don't want it. Man. I don't want it. So what did you do? So Ricky, oh, I love my brother. He brought me into a room and he talked to me and he said, Vita, this is what you have to do. Wow. 
this is what you have to do. And he said, and I said, well, Ricky, tears coming down my yeah, eyes. I'm upset. I, I'm talking crocodile tears because I had this whole vision of what it was supposed to be. Yeah. You know, and so he sat me down. And I'll never forget Miss me and him in the office. And I'm crying tears out of my face. And he's like, Vita, you got to do this. Wow. And because you got to do this, you got to make it your own. Wow. He said, you're not. I said, but Ricky, I'm not, I'm not Alicia's beast. I'm and not, I'm, I'm not the traffic lady. I'm not, I don't don't want to do the traffic. Traffic. I'm not traffic. And he said, but you know, make it your own, make it your own. Don't do traffic. Do you already while doing the traffic. Right. And that's what I did. And I, I I'm going to be very honest with you. Mm -hmm. The year that we, I got on traffic, I made traffic funny. Yeah, like yeah. I said shit like, oh, you know, if I if I saw, you know, because you get the, the report, right? And uh -huh. it's like, oh, there's debris and uh, there's debris on, on 35, uh -huh. right? I would be like, yo, there's a big rock on 35 and don't pull over because <laughs> it ain't crack. You know what I'm saying? Because I know there's a drought. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, it's not coke in the road. Don't pull over for that rock. It's another rock. I know it's a drought, but keep it moving. Damn. You know, I would be like, there's two dogs stuck on 75. Somebody bring some water. Damn. You know, you know, I just, I. he told me to make it, it my made own. It, made it so own. I went and I would write down funny things to right. say in the traffic. That's what's up. And so I made traffic me. And I know for a fact, because God, as God is my witness, mm -hmm. I know that that traffic helped Ricky get to the number one spot. Damn. Because Ricky is a beast and he's a phenomenon yeah. in the show. But then when you break it off to traffic, that's normally when people just be like, uh, uh, you know, you, it's a, it's, you die down. Yes, yeah. But I kept traffic. So go, what, I did, kept it up. Did traffic that's run awesome. you into the spot of doing that noonday show? Well, no. Well, what happened? What, what had happened was Ricky got to the number one spot that year. We we put we put K104, the the. Um, Skip Murphy out of business mm -hmm. already that year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We put them out of business right. that year. And so when that happened, Ricky wanted to move to Atlanta. Yeah, I remember that. And so he had already promised Ebony his, cause him and Ebony worked together in Birmingham, mm -hmm. Alabama. Mm -hmm. So he had, a, she was under contract in Birmingham. So he told her when her contract is over, that she could come to his show. Mm -hmm. So it just so happened when we're blowing up and everything is popping, her contract ended and it was time for her to come to Ricky's show. Okay. And it wasn't enough room mm. wow. for all of us. And plus, they're not going to take me to Atlanta to do traffic. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm right, saying? Right, right. And I did more than traffic. At, at, you know, it, at it got time. to be a different, you know, I did the traffic, but I got to interject in different places. But, you know, it just, it wasn't time, for, it, it wasn't for me. And so my boss was like, I'm going to create. Because I was like, Ricky was like, well, you can just be a producer on the show, yeah, right? Yeah. And my boss was like, well, no, you're bigger than a producer. Mm. We yeah. need your voice. So I'm going to create a, 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 a position right. for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to open something it will up. Too. And thank you so much. In the, in the after, John no, Candelaria. No, 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 thank you. Candy. No, 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 thank you. Oh, me or Candy? No, you. Oh, I thought, you, I'm thinking Candy. You thinking me? I'm thinking Candy. You thinking me? I'm thinking Candy. No, I'm, loving, I'm just loving the fact that it happened. It's like I tell people, man, like yeah. those times get us through phases. Like I'm at work stressing like hell. Like I want to, I want to do something to it. Oh, yeah, I thought, I, you know what I, I'm saying? I, I was salty. I was salty because I was like, y'all leaving me. Right. And I knew I played a position in that. Yeah. I knew I brought yeah. something to the table and y'all are leaving me here. Mm -hmm. And I was hurt. I just I see you. You love hard in anything you do. And I see you go hard all in your it. emotions and everything in everything you do. And when you get let down, you can't help but just be like hurt. Because she put everything into it. That, mm -hmm. that, that's simple. You know, you said you did her. I, I had got the dibs on you. Do you know a Clarissa? A, a salon by the Clarissa on. Yeah, you know about a Clarissa. This nigga told me this, I, and you know I told him I said when T when I met Ti, I asked you, I asked the nigga some stuff that wasn't right. Now when I asked her if she says she don't know the nigga, I'm gonna tell you about yourself. I love Greg was like, uh, ask her about Clarissa at the beauty salon in uh, Park, Maryland, St. Mary. Legend and Park. Stop playing. It's not Clarissa. Yeah, it's yeah, Larissa. 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 That's what he said. Larissa. I say. No, nah, he said, just ask about it. She don't know. So yes. I said, what the hell? I don't know nothing about that. Yes. I ain't never oh know she did nothing oh with no Larissa. Larissa. Or Clarissa, had, that's what I thought Larissa the nigga said. Had, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I worked at her beauty salon um, and when I was in Lexington Park, That was Maryland. before all of this. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, all of this has always been this. Okay. Like, I was always the ghetto superstar. Okay. okay. Even as a child? Even. Uh, Could you really do some damn hair or are you just playing? Oh, oh, I made a lot of money doing hair. Oh, so you were good oh, at it then? Here, here's what I was good at, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was good at people. Yes, I was good at doing hair, but people loved my energy. Your energy and that's how dope. I made the transition because I was like, man, um, people were, you know, I'd have clients coming to get their hair done that didn't need their hair done. Just to hang out. Just to hang out just with me. Just to be with you. Just to be it's around It's a gift. Me. Just, to, just to hear me talk to, about my life, uh, what I did, or who I did. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. It was yeah, good to who, who because or what you let it, it all was. Out. Yeah. So I ve- I'm always transparent. So, you know, I I'm back it. here and I'm just doing hair and I'm just talking and I'm doing this, nah, 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 nah. And it was a mood. It was a whole mood. And so, and Larissa, I worked at Larissa. Larissa. I worked Shout out Larissa. Larissa. She's still Larissa. around? Yeah, she's still in okay. Lexington Park, Maryland. She's up. got a shop. She's a couple of shops. She's a boss. Okay. okay. Boss talk. Boss talk 101. Big shit. Ooh, big I like shit. that. You know how I get when they do that. So big, you got to turn up. back and yeah. look at it. Already. That's yeah. some big shit. <laughs> you ain't never stood up and turned back and see what you did. Hey, <laughs> yo. Oh, this girl crazy. Let me ask you something. So, you know, we was hurt because you left 97.9 The Beat uh, that 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 crucial morning, okay? And I asked I asked the other guy, I asked Cruz when he was on there, I was like, look, man, um, we was hurt that morning. He said, oh, yeah, it was a thing where everybody, they uh, they go through something. And, and, and I said, yeah, nigga, but you was the only one left. Then I tell him that. No, Chaotic was still there. No, no, I'm talking about Forrest for me. What I could see as a, 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 a I'm a fan of yours, who hosting the, the morning show. I'm being real. Right. And he was like, nah, it just happened like that, you, man. We you, was all hurt. You asked Cruz why they and got rid of him, him and not me? I asked Cruz I mean, why they, they got well, rid they of you me. and not and him. That's, yeah. what, that's and, what he and, asked him. And I asked him that. He tried to dodge me. I asked him twice then. I said, well, I'm going <laughs> to get on the show. I'm being real. I wanted to know because uh-huh. we feel like we're a part of what's going on. That's how knitted we be in the situation. Am right. I right? right? No, no, we are family. Yeah. So that, we feel I've always. I raised my son on that radio. You know, so everybody knows I, 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 I brought, every, everybody I brought everybody everything to the to the table and, wow. and I've never backed away from, you know, yeah. because, you know, it's like, how can you, you know, as 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 personalities, as you, you know, you sit down and you interview people and you ask them questions. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I always said, how dare I sit down and ask people questions, but not give my life. Right. That's you know it. what I'm right. saying? That's it. How can I sit here and talk about what Lil Wayne doing or what T.I. doing and not tell you what I'm doing? No, that's doing? real. And, and, you and need to know what I'm doing because real. you need to know the source. It needs to be your friend. You know, not just your, I'm not a provider. I'm your friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. That provides information. No, not you know? only that, you heal people. See, that's what we do. That's the whole thing about this is that we know that what goes through these things right here, these mics are powerful. Mm-hmm. And so it's therapeutic to healing people. Mm-hmm. They can hear it in mm-hmm. your voice. And so it helps people. That's what we, we know that. That's this what this whole platform is about. It's to educate and to help. You got to you got a voice, man. That's amazing you said that. No, it's real. You, I, I, man, I say that in my it. affirmation. Really? My affirmations in the morning are, I'm favored by the universe and everything works out for me. I'm yeah. a leader and I'm a healer. That's it. I'm love and I'm light and I vibrate high. I'm a magnet for positive energy and I'm a money magnet. Damn. Money flows to like me it. freely. That's I'm it. an ATM machine. Yeah. I am consistent. Well, you I'm say persistent that and I get the job done. I am funny and I am creative and I am the number one radio personality in Dallas, Texas. And powerful. I have a nationally syndicated to show and I'm a motivational speaker I'm confident and I'm a fucking multimillionaire and I say that to myself wow. every morning I get up at 6 o'clock I in the morning just like me, to say you? that to myself is that me? How long I'm did it reading take the letter on the wall it? A while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A while. I never and, and it's mine. not, about, it's it's not about memorizing it it's, it's about being it. a, 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 not afraid to say it. say it yeah, yeah not afraid to say it because a lot of times you got to say it in even in your disbelief yeah 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 you got to keep saying yeah. it even when you don't believe yeah, i believe you got to keep saying it until you believe that's it and so i purposely get up every morning just to say it out my mouth to myself just to let myself know bitch 
You are, you the are these things. That's right. And, and, and are they activated right now? Maybe not. But they will become because I believe it and I say it and I speak it. And when That's you say, beautiful. do you say it loud enough that Dylan can hear you as well? Oh, child. Girl, yes. <laughs> I got Dylan. So I had created this accountability group. Um, so I work out at 7 o'clock in the morning every morning. I see it. I get the I, notification I, that you go live and I see I, it. Every morning I work out at 7 a.m. And I say affirmations the whole time, right? Okay. So I wake Dylan up at 7 to go to school. He had to be there at 7.30. I wake him up at 7, and then we do our workout, and we scream. I scream these affirmations. Well, Dylan will come out the room sometimes and be like, yeah, I am confident. I am That's hot. powerful. That's hot. I Damn, oh, successful. I'm trying to get them little be, niggas you gave me playing. to do the same damn thing. <laughs> the little niggas won't do it. I done, I done, I done, I done, we done read Rich Dad, Poe Dad. We done did all this stuff with these kids. Now right. they need to step up. You hear this woman? She talking about her kids is coming out amped up about it. Mine be really? Like, he been fucking you, with you me. You know what my, my mind be like, Daddy, that's a boring book. Or we don't like the audio. They be, they real fly. Let me ask you a question. How do you wake your, how do you wake your kids up in the morning? How do we wake these bad kids? How they they I, straight A students though. Shout out to my kids. They the best. My, okay, mm -hmm. my son he wakes up. He like his daddy. His he like his, his daddy. I don't have no problem with my daughter now. I'll wake her up and be like, okay, come she on. She's been up to four in the damn morning. Like, time That's to why. Get up. Time mm -hmm. to get up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> on the phone. Yeah, her, yeah, her and a little click. They Sometimes all got a little group she gets thing. Up and sometimes she, I walk off and I come back again because you always have to check. And they be like, "Yeah, I'm getting up and then go right yeah. back and lay she back." She ain't down. trying to hear. Yeah. It. And I always warn her. I tell her I'm going. With, I'm going to throw a bucket of water on you. My daddy used to do that too. I never forget. My daddy put a brought the garden hose through the house and wet me up. In oh the yeah, bed. yeah. My daddy used to do some crazy. Hey, I'm I tell love you, my I daddy. threw water on her once, uh, but she and, but if, she still does. If it. she got to go somewhere though, and she she'll got some plans, up. she'll do it. She got her own look ride. Right. She be G ride, and she'll jump up and be like, "I got something to do," but. Other than that, if she been up all night, she act like we have to wake her up sometime. Right. But she still, and then what do you say to her? She in all gifted class, make straight A's, number this in the 10th grade, just just a, a whip at it. The only reason I ask, how do you wake your babies up? Because I want to have a serious talk with our, because we're parents, you know. Yeah, yeah, and, straight up. And I realized that I had to start waking my son up different because when you wake up is the most important part of, the most important part of your day. Mm -hmm. That decides how your day's gonna be, right? Wow. And so, you know, you wake up, you either wake up in uncertainty or you wake up like certain about what's gonna happen that day. So I wake Dylan up and I make him say, Today is my day. I say, Say it out your mouth. Today is my Today day. is my day. Today is my day. It makes sense. Today is my day. You know what I thought day. about? I said, this is helpful to watch coming to America. You watch the way them niggas wake up. It's a beautiful up. day. <laughs> Dylan, get up and let the babies <laughs> bathe your penis. You know, would be so happy. Come on. Oh, Where's your God. royal God. penis at, Dylan? Bring it out and let these you girls know, know know work. That's the way that show starts, you know, to wake up, you know? <laughs> the royal penis is ready. <laughs> no, but that's Ooh, important. I think Amanda. you're right, though, but... Let me get back to this question about how you oh, left the, the damn radio show. station. Okay, yeah, I, I, you I wasn't to, diverting. Did you, did you, do, diverting. Did you pull one on me? No, no I wasn't she diverting. Didn't. Okay, she never do that. Okay. I was ready so, for it. So what What was the morning like? And and you was caught off guard. I know you was caught no, off guard. No, I wasn't. Well, you played us. We thought you Ooh. was caught off guard. Yeah, let me because it was so emotional. Let me give you the tea. Let me give Please you the tea. do. Mr. Pookie. Did y'all know Pookie was in the building right here? <laughs> did y'all know Pookie, the man Pookie, was in the building right here? Same, I know y'all just did an interview oh, with him. Man, we but love I, just, him, man. I felt his energy is here, and I felt oh, like yeah. saying his name. Hey, Pookie. What up, boy? Hey. You, you, you did <laughs> this Triple thing D in this bitch. Already. Okay. Um, July 27th. After my birthday. One day after my birthday. This one, it went down. July 27th, 2019. Excuse me. My allergies. My nose is Need running. Need something? It's not Coke anymore. <laughs> Do you want some paper it's towel? A, or a, a tissue? tissue or something, tissue? yeah. Okay. Uh, it used to be coke when that happened. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> now See, it's just real sinus problems. I love problems. your energy, man. You know you're, what I'm saying? Beast, now it's bro. really my sinuses. I cannot play with you. <laughs> I am so excited about you. It used you. to be, you know, oh, that's just my sinuses. <laughs> Bitch, you just snorted a whole eight ball last night. <laughs> Bitch, it's not your sinuses. Dang. It's the coke. <laughs> but Girl, you something else. Thank God. I'm six years clean, so oh, I'm good. Oh, shout out to six years six clean. Years that's clean. a whole, whole, whole accomplishment. A whole accomplishment. And but shout out to, to being radio. real though. Yeah. 
But the, re- yeah, the radio story. thing messed me up. I'm going to wait for your wife to get back. Oh, so you don't have to. She's going to hear it anyway in the okay, living so room while I'm here, editing. Here's a go. Here yeah. it goes. Here it goes. Like after My nose would run after I got clean, and I would think that everybody thought that I was still on coke. Well, yeah. you know, you <laughs> It did. was a very self-conscious thing. I like, think it's... I, 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 I can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine. Every that. time my nose ran, I, I would feel, oh, they think I'm back. You ever think it was just God reminding you so you could stay humble? Well, you know, God... I'm, I'm, I, I think shut up look at Pookie no you didn't have to drink to that you did not have to pick up your drink and drink to that okay it. it'll uh, keep you humble let it me will tell, keep you okay, humble okay so you, you you said that you thought that it took me by surprise okay here's the deal on July 27th 2019 um, my general manager came to me her name is Tammy Honesty she came to me at my birthday party wow and she said Vita they want to get rid of you damn they want to get rid of the show. Um, they got, you know, Ricky's retiring. He's Ricky's taking over for Tom. And they got this new young morning show that they're wow. putting together, wow. The Morning Hustle. And uh, they want to use The Morning Hustle everywhere. Wow. So she said, you know, uh, you got to get your numbers up and you got to beat Didi. If you're not beating Didi, they're going to let you go. Wow. So that's July 27, 2019. That's, that's pressure. almost six months. Yeah. Six six months. Right. Because I got let go January, January. Yeah. 2020. So it was just a it was a it was a it was a something in the air saying it could happen. Oh. That was just could, pressure. Could. Pressure. Pressure. It was pressure. bitch. It get will. it together. Yeah. Get it together. Damn. Get your shit together. Get get everything together because shit is not going the way it should be. Yeah. And you're gonna be replaced Damn if it. your shit is not right you know and some people might have been like well fuck it then i'm just gonna go in here and not give a fuck yeah what was your frame of mind after you heard that um try just try try that just dog try. and you gonna make you try. go get it. don't give up yeah just try the hardest you can rally your team just try to get everybody on the same accord just keep trying you know right. i i i tried all the way up until the day they let me go I never gave up on myself. I never said, okay, fuck it. I never said, okay, fuck it. I always believed that I could save it. But you was working with the individuals that replaced you. You mean head cracking them? Yeah, when you when didn't they replace the show like Jay Cruz and them was on your show? Well, no, Jay Cruz didn't replace me. Jay Cruz is not on the morning show now. He no. came on after the morning show. They they spared they who? gave him a position. Okay, after. so who all was on that show? Cause I didn't listen to it no more after that. I'm being real with you. Who? I shut it down after that. I, I'm with you. You leave, I leave. We together, like y'all do. You know, little homegirls do. You shut it down too. Yeah, like we yeah we leaving together. Yeah. Right. Pookie, just want to put this on record, Pookie said he shut it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to shut it down. Well, we had to shut it down. I, I, K-Rock said he shut it down. He just said it. It's on the show. Uh, um, w- w- okay, you're asking I'm me I'm just trying why. to figure out, you work with these same individuals that kind of, then they come in right after you? Or they got new people to do the morning show? No, it was new people. Okay. It was new people to do the morning okay, show. Okay, so I told you, I didn't Some people I, out I of know. Atlanta. They were out of Atlanta. Okay, okay. They're in Atlanta. So okay. it's a it's, it's Well, a make them better than you. Um, They just wanted, it's newer, okay. younger, and they felt like that this was their uh, breakfast club type of situation. Did they that, bring the numbers up? I don't know. Are they still there? They're still there, yeah. Okay, well, I don't baby. know, because I'm with you. Th- this was their baby. Um, but, it, <laughs> look, God had this happen to me. I Damn. Say one so, all right. yeah, God, God, That's God, what I'm God about. had that happen to me, you know. And it was crazy because I was depressed before I got let go. Okay. Because I, I was stressed. I saw it coming. I wake up in the That's morning a lot, crying. A lot to help. You know, when somebody's going to tell you that it, in any day, you don't know what day it's going to be, but at any day, somebody's going to come to you and say, it's done. You're done. It's over. And I didn't know the day. So I was like, you know, and I'm, I'm trying though, but I'll be, I, and I don't blame anything. I don't blame anyone for what happened besides myself. Okay. You know, I could have been a better leader. Um, I could have did things differently because first and foremost, that was my vision. Okay. My vision. 
I'm the one that visualized morning show. I manifested the morning show. I manifested that TV show on the CW 33. I was even on satellite radio. Um, I got let go from satellite radio and didn't even, and and I didn't even say anything about it because it hurt so much because I manifested satellite radio for years and years. People was like, what do you want to do next? I'm like, I want to be on satellite radio. I want to be on Sirius XM. And then I fucking got my chance. I was on Shea 45 for three years. No, five years. Wow. On, on, well, is it, that's the coke, it kills your brain cells. <laughs> Might have been three. Might have been three. But anyways, you know, so I was doing um, Core DJs. Shout out to Tony Neal uh, with Core DJs and Shea 45. He's an amazing man. Wow. And he gave me an opportunity to be on Shea 45 for years on Friday nights with Core DJs. And then, so that, that dropped first. And then, so the television show that dropped second and then the radio show dropped. Well, oh, you still doing tell you're not doing that anymore. No, 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 okay. because the television was complacent was was a part of the ra- the morning show. Okay. So they were filming us live every morning and, and you would see us on TV. Yeah, 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 I remember. But, I, I think Sean was telling me about yeah. that. Yeah. And what what honestly what I think happened was was when TV we were too new of a morning show to be on TV. Yeah, I hear you. We I really mean, were. Yeah. We were one year in having an amazing year getting to know each other because yeah me and Cruz knew each other in passing of you know hey I'm coming on you're leaving or you're coming on I'm leaving you know and we hang out sometimes but see we wasn't now when you're working with somebody for six hours straight six hours straight we we didn't know each other like that So we had to learn each other. So the first year was amazing because it's new. That's like a marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The first year is amazing. It's new. Yeah. They always say the second year is some bullshit. Yeah, it's some tough. The second year is tough. It's gonna be tough. The second year, the newness wore off. Yeah, yeah. Now we gotta like really try to dig dig deep deep and figure out what we're doing. Mm -hmm. But in our second year, they added television to our second year. So now. We're not even concentrating on radio anymore. We're trying to get TV time. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to see who going to get a segment on TV. It went from, we. some people forgot about radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, fuck it. I'm a TV star now. Already. I want to be a TV star. I'm TV. Big dog. Mm. And that TV killed the radio. The radio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I will say that that, yeah. that, that. TV show killed, killed the radio our show. radio y'all, show. Y'all, y'all morning show. It killed the morning show. Wow! And it showed everybody just went, you know, different directions, different yeah. Mindset. patterns, mindsets. Yeah, With everybody no unity went into, like it was. And and I'm not blaming them because I wasn't the leader to bring it back correct, where it correct. needed to be. Yeah. So I'm learning, you know, to be a better leader because. Clearly, I didn't lead that shit. No, 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 no. Um, but the TV, I will say, killed the radio. Mm. And um, I never watched the TV show. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. it was on. It was on. It was on in CW thirty three every morning. Six, and, and, but I knew about it because of Sean, and he would always show it on his deal, and he would be in there with you and Cruz and all yeah. y'all. Yeah, and I said it looked fun, yeah. but people don't. People don't watch TV like that no more. They on YouTube and all kind of stuff. There's so well, many different well, options. It's different for mornings. Because, see, in the morning, a lot of people turn to TV to see because what's the weather ready. going the weather, to be. The weather, for sure. Where's the traffic at? Uh, is there anything I need to know before I go out the door? You know, it's more of a getting information in the okay, morning. Okay. Not just watching, but getting information. Getting information. And to be honest with you, our TV show was the, radio was show, the right? highest, was rated very high on CW33. Wow. We did very well on wow. CW33, but we was sucking the oh, the radio. On the radio. It's still going on because Cruz say he's still working with that TV. Well, it's a different show. It's, it's, a, it's, different, it's totally a different, totally different, different show. Really? But just, it's the same like, network. Same network. Okay. But it's okay. a different, you know, it's, it's not the same. It's not a radio show on there. It's just Cruz, you know, working. Working. Doing I, I just thing. say y'all both got the distinct voices. You can tell y'all very, y'all put a lot into what you do. You can tell. It's very obvious. And I'm going to be honest with you. Um, yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all. Y'all make a nigga day. Y'all voices is good. Mm-hmm. God done bless y'all with a gift. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I, I, I mean, couldn't have done only, it. Not only no, I'm not voice. just saying it. No, I just say voice, not, man. No, for me, for, for me, me and Vita, it's not only the voice, it's the fact that she makes me laugh. Oh, yeah, she's she funny she'll, as hell. No matter if you're having a bad day, she 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 going to say something real funny, and you just be like, yeah, I can't. I just can't wait you to get hit from behind. You, you that, know what that I mean? That getting hit from behind thing. Oh my God, that Michael U. Valley. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, damn. I don't care now. It was real. I don't even know what the hell you was talking about. I just <laughs> yo part of it. I'd be like, damn. Why I can't get her to do something for unique fans like that? I, I said, I ain't doing nothing. We had about four stores at the time. Uh, I said, babe, we need to get into that. Don't we? <laughs> I said, these folks look, even if nigga wasn't going over there, it seemed like everybody was going over there the way you was talking. But I said, how much them drops you think is? Uh, I said, I never could figure that out. I was uh-huh. like, and I work doing that. I work right. in communication. So usually when you work in communication, you're not really good at communication. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. So, For real. Yeah, so I, I get it, but I really, really enjoy Joe. You, you, right. you do that still? Anything with those Well, I'm, drops? I'm, I'm back with uh, Men Dentistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, you are. Yeah, okay. I'm back with Men dentistry and uh you know it's coming i'm I'm actually tomorrow is my first day back full-time again really yeah so now i'm full-time on magic 94 Uh, Uh in the same slot or no um, you going now from 12 in the afternoon till three so 12 that's i'm back with you baby that's good yeah Yeah, there it is monday through friday okay oh we can ride in the daytime daytime Daytime. yeah yeah Yeah. she she back doing what she was doing a little bit before counter because you're in that same you slot, were, that noon day. No, now you're no, 12 no, because I, I, I was mean, in, six to twelve on, right now. I'm I'm at night now. Yeah, from six six to, the, 12, to twelve. Six p.m. to twelve a.m. Mm-hmm. Friday and Saturday I was, but starting tomorrow is going to change from twelve to three in the afternoon. Monday through Friday, and then Saturdays six to twelve still at night. Okay, you're a hustler. You're a hustler. Because I because I saw those hours, I'm like. You know, she the ain't radio no damn rest. from 6 o'clock in p.m. To, I'm like, that's a lot of time to be talking. Well, it's a mix, it's, so it's I'm, a not mix. Doing yeah, more, I'm not doing a lot of talking. But, oh, okay. you know, for the most part, it's, it was weird because you get another drink. that's that's how I started. Can I have a cup? Stop I playing. started, you know, when I started 97 on mm-hmm. the beat, I started weekends. Mm. And so when I got let go, you know, morning show is the pinnacle. Morning show is the Tom Brady it's the yeah know, yeah yeah the, yeah. Cause that's the time you're, when I used to listen the court, to the radio. You're the yeah. Yeah. driving to work. Yeah, that's you're why you're the, the quarterback. On, that's that's why you. So the, the 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 it's the mornings and afternoons. It's the drive to work and, and the drive, drive home. home. Those are the two most important positions in radio. Exactly. Okay. So my dream was to embody both positions. Okay. And that's what I did. Let me ask you this: What's the difference between working the I know it's the same company, 97.9 and 94.5. The only difference is the music. Okay, cool. You know, but you everything know, else is the same. Kind yeah, of. every you know. Well, I can't be you know. I, I can't be as raunchy as you want to be. Yeah, because you want to be. I am. I heard you. I, am. I heard you at a few places. <laughs> Say, hey, when I come in, nigga, it was lit. I see, made a nigga throw his money and everything. Just I lost it all. You know, how, you, know you rip the covers off of somebody and they naked. You know, <laughs> Damn, she say do it. I gotta do it. She got the money. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I can't be. You, def, I you, cannot, you something else. I cannot be. You know, but I'm, that's not. I, I, I have evolved. You go hard. Back I've then. evolved though. That I've was changed. a long time ago too. Yeah, that I'm telling you, that was. Ago. I want to say that I'm was, a new person. I was, that, that was 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. No, I'm being real. Girl, my, my, I mean, uh, my favorite thing to say in the club was, who's fucking the night? Oh, who's fucking God. Tonight? It was throw. Who's fucking the night? it was throw. Pull your dick out. You know, I would say shit throw. like, pull your dick like, out. damn. Pull your dick and put Man, it on the bar. I, 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 I was, Where going, hey, I was, I was like, damn, what is this? It ain't never been like this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I used to throw my little money, you know, and be cool with it. Oh, you said when I was working at the strip club? Oh, yeah, that was cold. Wait a minute, the strippers used to hate me. Oh, my God, it was on. Wait a minute, the strippers did not like me. (laughs) They're, they're, like, I had to have, like, meetings in the back, like, look, Vita, you got to be nicer to the strippers. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You got to be nicer to the strippers because, you know, they're coming to us and saying, we don't like her, you wow. know, uh, and not that they don't like me, but you know, my thing was, bitch, 
if you go home broke tonight, it's your fucking fault. Damn. And I would say things like, you know, like, bitch, get up. What are you doing? Get up. Get up. You've been here too long. Move around, bitch. I you need to lose it. a couple pounds. Oh, All right, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> DG. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I was at DG's with them. Oh, my God. Oh, I used to be oh, over yeah, there. Oh, yeah, the strippers would oh, file, I was there. They would file complaints on me. Really? Like, Vita, Vita, Vita's hard to work with. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Vita's I, hard to work people with. People come through here because I don't go no more like I used to. I used to frequent them. You know, uh, all the DJs been here. Right. That's when you know you've been in the strip club right, too much. Right, Every DJ, Fresh, Frost, everybody been on the show. Right. I said, I'm going to bring who I know. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because <laughs> that's where you be. That's where I know. I, it's going to be yeah. organic. That's for darn sure. Is this so. a strip club podcast? Hey, man, we kicked it, though. But the thing I can say, I know it come in handy because I had Shannon Briggs on there last week. Uh -huh. the, the Let's Go Champs guy. And he was like, where can I go? I, I like it right. I was like, okay, nigga, you need to go over here to this one. Yeah. Right. And then I called a DJ. Nigga, which one uh -huh. hot? You right. Yeah, no, because you don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't been. It's yeah. been probably about seven years, six years. What? Y'all don't be rocking like, I mean, what I, what I need to for? I, I, I woke up. I had a. But do y'all go as a couple? We, we used to. We used to. Mm -hmm. But things kind of slowed down. Like you, we evolve. You People evolve. But the thing I love about you is that you are ready to expose what you've been through. And I think that helps people. Right. Like for you to say what you said, you know, about the coat, Wendy Williams, she should bite on that. Like, okay, if Vita did it, well, then I did can do it. Well, she did talk about her coat, You know, right? I know it, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the thing. Like, when, you, when you're able to say stuff, it helps people. And people don't realize how much it helps people, I don't mm -hmm. believe. But it helps people. Like I told you about mm -hmm. going through my day, this is real life. Like, certain things people have to get into mentally to try to make their day better. Mental health is real. Real. It's real, Straight real. real. Real, real. So it definitely helps me, and thank you. I'm going to say that right now. Thank um, you on air. Thank you. Keep doing your I thing. I appreciate that. Right? Yeah. Did you have, I done did all my cutting up. You got a question for Miss Vita Loka? Oh, you ain't got no more questions on your No, no, no. I ain't got nothing notepad. else. I, I just had that. I didn't have much. You know what I'm saying? Notepad. You know, y'all intimidating me a little bit. Ah! I say, these niggas, they, I say, J. Cruz, then I tell him. Mm. I said, nigga, I'm going to practice on this nigga tonight. What, what, <laughs> what? How did J. Cruz intimidate you? He, no, just the fact that you guys do this daily on the mic. Like, okay. I and talk. You know, and you know, and I, I just want to big up to my brother, Jay. Cause, no, uh, he loved you. you he know. said he was like, "No, nah, she showed me. She invited me. You know, I talk. I'm like, mm -hmm. he did a good. He he really big up to you, like big sister type deal to me. Like that's yeah, what and it felt. I am, and I am his big sister, and and he he chose to leave his position. Okay. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. He told me that. Yeah, he told yeah, me that. He chose to he, leave. He couldn't deal with it. Because he, he, he just does, didn't feel didn't right feel to him. Right. It didn't feel the same to yeah. him. He said that on and here. And that's a big move. Matter of fact, this big... was the first place that he ex it let people know that I'm not there anymore. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a big, big deal. You know, something when you've been attached to something for so long and you not forced to go, but you have to make a decision, decision. to go. That's right. And that decision is hard for people to make. You know, that's just like making the decision that will affect the rest of your life yeah some people like to wait and let life happen instead of making life happen you, you right Vita. And, and to add to that you know uh the thing that people don't realize is that mental illness can be happening at this very moment with a person they could be going through it right now whether it be jay cruz or anybody to go through a situation like that and now have to face the fact of change after all them years i think i've been on my job for 22 years i don't even know how i would feel to I, really I was don't. on. I was on. I was at Radio years. One for twenty for twenty years. See, and then you change, and, and once you Some change, people that don't pace. like change, uh, and everything because I've met people who like things a certain way. When mm -hmm. you go to their house, they mm -hmm. eat the same food every day. They mm -hmm. do go same route every day, and not realizing that they're succumbing themselves to being a certain way. And you can't be that way because then when change comes, because change will come any day. Yeah. You can't handle it. Some people have a nervous breakdown. Some people, I mean, react in so many different ways. But you have to, as a person, create change in your life daily. Because change is gross. You can make it be a positive or you can make it be a negative. But do something different every day mm -hmm. so that you're training your mind to accept change. Mm -hmm.